Let's play! Okay, so, I, I, I kind of cheated, I heard about this one in the comments on how to get it, so, I would have never thought to use a grenade, that makes no sense to me, why would you blow up that, I guess, maybe it kind of does make sense, I don't know, but, um, alright, back to clean up. <laughs> Alright, so I figured out how to get across this just by by sheer guessing this wasn't one that someone told me about. So now we can get up to the wigwam here, and I saw there was a warp pad, which should make my experience infinitely easier as uh, things go on. So let's hit that. Perfect! Now do we have a globo, Jinjo, what are they called? I think they're globos. No, Jinjos are what we say. Oh, you have one! Please don't need two. I'd be sad if you're like, I need two or three. Well, now I have two, but... Globo. That's, yeah, it was, I was totally right the first time. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Let it suffer in the magma ooze thing. Sure, let's see what we get in this world. I have actually no idea what it's going to be. And it is a... Oh, I am a truck... Wumba call this van- oh, it's a van, sorry. Press B for horn. This is amazing. I am- this is beautiful. What? I am a van. What? I can take this, obviously. Aw, oh, dude. I nearly glitched out on that door. Okay. So what can I do with the van? Am I gonna enter a race? That'd be really cool. I just completely demolished that dude by just running him over. That is amazing. What a- I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing with this though. Honestly. Oh, wasn't there one in the space world? If I recall. There was one. Could have also been in here. <laughs> he's running away from me. It's funny because he's suffering. Where am I going? I don't even know where I am. Oh, this place looks just lovely. The Haunted Cavern. Is there going to be Eddie Murphy here? That'd be cool. What am I even looking at? Oh, I had to move the camera, apparently. I'm probably not supposed to come in here as, as a truck, but that's cool. Warning, the management accepts no responsibility for soiled underwear as a result of being in the Cave of Horrors. That's funny. I'm going to cry, aren't I? Nah, I, I can't imagine this game being as scary as, say, Metroid. Game of Horrors. What's that in there? Isn't that the camel from the last game? Dude! What are you doing here? And you're a dinosaur. Oh, you're a cute dinosaur. And finally a Jinjo. But that's probably... Actually, it's probably not one of the... Like, uh, not evil one. The evil ones, rather. It's probably not one of those. It's probably natural Jinjo. Minjo, that's what it is, yes. Okay, so, well, I'm definitely not supposed to come in here as a truck, although I do know about this entire everything about this place now. Well, not really, because there's still the whole area over there that I haven't been to. Or is this, wait, is this the way back? No, it's... <gasps> I probably have to blow it, blow it up, blow up the locks or something. Okay, so now I know what to do when I come back here, which will be later. Because for now, I am a truck, not a bear. And not a monkey either. That's, that's, that's a Transformers joke in case you don't get that, because for a while, Optimus Prime was a monkey. 
very weird period, if you ask me, but, um, okay. God, this place is causing my game to, like, slow down so much. Pay here. Pay here to enter the fearsome furnace? Oh, well, can't do that yet. Oh, I guess we can. Sure. The ride is now- oh, oh, dude, so I see what we're supposed to do. Okay, cool. The Inferno. Basically, we're going to hell. That's awesome. Can, can, can we go in there as a truck? That is that is the big question on everybody's minds. Because if you can, that'd be awesome. The Inferno. Oh, hey, there's a truck thing. Dude, let's go in there. Oh, it's a Cheeto paint. Nice, those are useful. Use it to double my health or something, hopefully, would be nice. Okay, we got a split up panel here. We got... I'm trying not to fall in the lava! Uh, we got running shoes. We got little fire gremlins. Can I not? I guess I... Okay. I can't make it up there in truck form. Got it. Fire gremlins go... Okay, and then they die in the lava. Sounds about right. What does this do? This causes, I'm guessing, a, a Jiggy to appear with a time limit at the top? No, a jump pad. Alright. Oh, I see how this is gonna go. Also, the truck is in the lava. Oh, here's... Is this Mumbo's hut? Or is this, like, dev Devil Mumbo? No, this is Mumbo's skull. And we have a globo for him. So we're gonna need to, I guess, come back to him after. We, so we can't talk to him right now, because we are obviously a truck. He just... Uh, a van. Sorry, I keep mixing that up. Um, okay, sure. It's really surreal, driving around as a truck. I gotta be honest. Nice that we're completely invincible, though. Gotta say. Hey, another Globo. Oh, there we go. So, well, let's, uh, let's head out of here. We're gonna have to come back here in, uh, bear and bird form. Oh, hey! It's one of the kids. Can we, like, take you back? Sorry, but Mom said I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. I, I was really hoping she was gonna say, Sorry, my mom doesn't allow me to talk to Vans. That would have been grade A amazing writing, but... Eh, that's alright. Okay, so let's head out of here. God, it's so weird playing as a van. I mean... I don't know. I guess I should be used to the sort of surrealness of this game. Start, or at least starting to, to accept it, you know. But, uh, okay. Let's see, is there another truck port around here? That is a mumbo pad, so now we know where mumbo goes. This is good for getting, like, a, a tour of the level that's not, uh, super... Like, you're not too worried about dying, which is nice. Grab some more. We don't really need more ice eggs, but that's cool. Oh, yeah, there's another truck port. Nice. It's more of a garage door, but... Oh, there's the treble clef. How many left uh, notes left do we have in this place? Let's take a look. I tried using the control pad and it didn't work. We have 20 left in here, so I'm guessing there's another treble clef somewhere. Props. Take a sip of my Mountain Dew. And, uh... Like I said, it is nice just getting a, a tour of the place. I guess there's no, another Mumbo one. That is a Minjo who is now dead. Wait, are they robots then? Because he was doing the electric thing. Are they meant to be robots? Can we go on this as a truck? On Kirby's Warp Star? Nope. Sounds good. Makes sense because, you know, the whole thing... Uh, oh, probably needs power though, right? Okay. I'm starting to understand this world. But I'm wondering if there's any other, uh, any other things that require pay. Because that'd be... Be good to know. Can we order a, anything as a truck? 
Nope. Oh, yep. Okay. Well, seems like we should probs turn back into regular form, unless there's something over here. That's just fun. Oh, there's the notes. Right there, and right there. Okay, so how do we get up there, then? Um, hmm. Probably have to blow the gate up with, uh, grenades. Got it. Okay, well, that was, that was a fun little tour of the level. Now we have to head back to, which world was it? It was the Frontier World. Yes. That is spooky world. Although, if we can use the warp pad, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we can. Sweet. Let's go to the weak wham. And so, we can turn back into regular form if we can fit through the door. That'd be nice. Alright, so now we have to go to... I guess. Oh my go... I was upside down. Why was I upside down? That's strange. Sure. First off, let's head to the world entrance so we can get the last two uh, notes. Note bundles, rather. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing we blow up the, the gate. Because from what I've seen, when in doubt, just blow stuff up. Number one, though. Let's use our ice eggs that we never use. Haha. <laughs> You're frozen. Just like that one movie I went to go see that was actually pretty, pretty decent. There we go. I was like, wait, can I not kill him now? But I, I can. And... I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, totally! When in doubt, just blow it up. I like that this game... See, the reason I wouldn't do that is because I'm so used to the whole thing of, okay, so it's a video game, you know, you have to suspend your disbelief, you can't just blow stuff open. You know, you have to find a key, or you have to find a way to open it. No, no, this game's just like, no, just, just blow it open, man. I like that about it. It's a garage, as the, the British would say. Oh, I need to be in truck form. Darn it. I'll get that later. I'm already in Burden Bear. So, uh, next up, let's go to uh, Mumbo. Because Mumbo has, like, three things here that he has to do. Now, if we just find that warp panel again. Right there. Warp panels are so nice. Such a nice inclusion. And let's go to Mumbo's skull. And we can also get the um, split up jiggy here, hopefully. That'd be nice. This is, I, I'm really sorry that this is one of the most boring things, um, but it's funny because I don't have that much to talk about. Okay, well, number one, you can head back, get me some fries, and I'll leave quietly. We, we have fries, don't we? Do we not have them in our inventory? I swore we had fries. Oh, that sucks. We're gonna have to go get them again, I guess. Oh, first off, let's split up. Nope. I said split up. There we go. So now Banjo is going to have to go over here to this uh, the, to the panel so that we can get someone. I nearly fell into the lava. Hooray. That's the wrong button. What button was it? Z? R? L? What button was it to switch characters? A. I pressed A. Okay, let's do this thing. Oh god. I might not make this. That was, yeah, no. Oh god, I'm falling into- Oh, yeah, that is- that is a terrible, painful death. Oh, wow, that's really generous of them. That was really stupid of me. Twice, actually. Thankfully, I don't think life is shared. No, it's not. 
Okay, let's get this this time. That, that's not what I wanted. Oh god, the timing on that is hard. Jeez. I need to be a little bit earlier. Oh, darn it! Okay, it's so, like, the, even the camera angle itself is weird, because I have to press it at such a weird angle. So do I even need the speed shoes? Really? Do I? Because from what I'm seeing so far, there's no time limit. If there was a time limit, I'd cry. And there probably is. And people are like, oh, you know, it's he's gonna find out right away and it's gonna be so funny because he's gonna be being brutally attacked by everything. Can I just, can I not just walk up it? I totally can. Why do I need the speed shoes? That just overcomplicates things. I totally jumped over him! Come on! So I guess I need the speed shoes to successfully hop over them. That is that is the reason why I had them and why I am brutally failing. Okay, I think I'll cut to when I get it. Or fast forward, whatever. I choose. <laughs> Oh my god, I made it. I made it, guys. Oh my god. That's so stupidly hard. Oh my god, if I fell off, I would I would cry. I would. But we got that one. Okay. So now let's gracefully descend into the lava where I die. But thankfully, it's saved that I got the jiggy, right? 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 Right. Did it not? Did I not get it? Oh, sh- I'm gonna look up there and it's gonna be up there, isn't it? Because I decided to just jump off instead of doing- Doing the normal human being thing, I'm just- I swear to Christ if it's still up there. Because I got 25, right? Wasn't that what I was at last time? 25? Oh my god. Did I actually just- I'm gonna have to do it again! Okay, so it's it's not as bad once you know exactly the uh, the strategy of just stopping. Oh no, I did get it. Oh, okay. So I guess I just did it again because hey, why why the bedazzle not? Okay, so let's reunite and okay, let's go find Mumbo now. Okay. Not as bad now that I know exactly what's actually. Should I go out now? I'll do the uh, the House of Horror thing after. We have like three things for Mumbo to do. I wonder if he knows that there's a um, just a dude hanging out in his, his his living room, not doing anything. Probably nice to know. Okay, wake up, wake up, dude. There you go. Welcome again, Baron. 
Uh, we got a globo. Yo, musky oh, magic creature to mumble. Come if you want help. Yeah, totally, bro. We, we, no, we just came to pay you a visit. That's all. Okay. All right, so now we have three things to do with him. One at the entrance, one at the, um, Space World, and then there was a, where was the third one? Third, I don't even remember now. Oh, geez, that's terrible. Well, guess we're gonna have to look around for it. So the first one was in the space zone. Actually, I think they're both, yeah, they were both in the space zone. There's one at the, um, right by the warp panel, wasn't it? See here. Yeah, I was right there. So we're good. Or, yeah, you could just run. Yeah. Get out of my neck of the woods, bro. My turf. Hope this works. Power. Oh, yeah, so is his power in this is to just give him power. That's good. Oh, there's something behind there. I should probably go grab that. Dodge him, that's like, um, I only know the reason they're called, well, not the reason, but they're called dodge -ims. Aren't they bumper cars here? Because I remember playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and them being called the dodge -ims. And just being like, such a weird, weird word, dodge -ims. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense because you want to dodge him. Wait, what's this? Looking for the kids? You might find them in the Inferno, Star Spinner, Crazy Castle, or the dodge -ims. Well... Thanks for just explicitly telling me where they are. I mean, actually, thanks. It's kind of nice to just be told straightforward for the first time in forever. Which is a song from Frozen, which I, I, I'm holding back as much as I can to stop myself from singing. Because it, it's a oh, great song. Great music in that show, I gotta say. Like, even if, you know, you're not a big fan of of Disney stuff and you know you're all oh it's for kids but it's actually really good still um music's by I think funnily enough if I read correctly it's by the people who did the the, the internet is for porn song Avenue Q which hey sure all right so star spinner that's up uh, up next for me to do I guess here's a jiggy Oh, it's just, oh, this doesn't look like it's going to be fun. It's going to be super platforming challenge a go-go, baby. Why is there always a Globo running away? Do I need one more Globo now, or is he... Does he... Did he use up two Globos? No. I still have the one left. Apparently he mysteriously re-catches it, or I don't even know. And finally, the one by the world entrance. Oh god, where is even the exit? Right there. Uh, taser! <laughs> it's actually just kind of fun. It's just a fun little thing to do is taser people. Not in real life. People have have passed away from such things. So let's let's not let's not bring that up. Then again, you can't be so PC that you don't talk about anything because, trust me, from from reading on Tumblr and, you know, even at the university, there's all these things like, you know, things on the stairs saying like, oh, these stairs are ableist because people who are not disabled can use them, but people who aren't can't. And like, I understand, like, the option is there for, um, like, there's elevators. So the option is there. And just because it's, um, I don't know. I try to not talk about controversial subjects just because every time I do, usually the video ends up getting like millions of dislikes. And even though it technically doesn't mean anything, it kind of just hurts me on the inside because it's, it's something that like, I don't know. Whenever I see a dislike, I'm like, what would compel a person to do that? I mean, in the end, it means nothing, I know, but... Saucer of Peril. Let's see what this is, even. I don't even know. Are we gonna need to be in truck form to do this one, maybe? I'm not even sure. 
Oh yeah. Oh sweet, we're going to area 51. We're gonna fight some greys and do all that crazy stuff with like blowing yourself not yourself up, but blowing like guns up, and I'm not even sure. I just remember I had a Game Pro magazine a long time ago that had an entire walkthrough of uh, Area 51 for the PS2, and I remember just reading about it all the time, and it sounded like a cool game. From what I, I read later on, it's it's terrible. But um, yes. Okay, so now let's let's uh well let's take the warp back. I don't even know how long these parts are gonna be from now on, simply because of the fact that, like, oh, I'm fast forwarding so much. What is that? Obviously that thing's gonna talk to us and I'm kind of freaked out at what it might be. Whatever though. But I think we will uh, continue doing this next time guys, when uh, we're back to Baron Bird. So, I'll see you guys next time, ciao.